This is a free lesson from my course how to handle a web design project. It is a 2 hour video course. You can find the link in the description below. So let's get started now. A lot of designers they don't understand that design is progressive. So it will take shape and it will take in its form with time. So you have to uh, give some time to your design. So here are a few tips that are practical and which I use in my real life in uh, designing websites or mobile apps. Number one is that don't design in a single session. You, you don't need to sit and uh, in first three hours you are going to just jump off, uh, out in the design and go out and okay, so I have done the design. Don't design in one session. Whenever you are designing, design for one or two hours, then go outside get feedback from others walk around and then sit again you will you will feel the difference that you your you you might have more ideas uh, in your mind so try to get out of your chair and see some world or meet your friends or things like that do some other stuff play around come back and you will have some more ideas into your design or into your in your mind so this is the first tip don't design any uh, website or any mobile app in just one session. Second is that don't design, design with just one perspective, which is your own single mind and your two eyes. You have to change your perspective. You have to uh, ask others in your team, your team members, your wife, your friends, your family, now, my wife, she doesn't know anything much about design, but uh, I always ask her because she uh, she belongs to, uh, you can say, uh, users that are not very technological. So I always ask her whenever I design, so which design do you think is looking great? What are, uh, are, do you trust this design? So she answers like, uh, I don't like this, this is looking too much going on over here, something is not right. So I tend to, you know, get feedback from her. I don't devalue her feedback that she doesn't know anything because any users, their perspective, their, uh, their way of seeing things is different. So you have to get at least two uh, or three different perspectives and then improve your design onto them. You are the solution builder you have to uh, you know understand what the others are trying to express and use that and create more ideas third one is that you have to give some time to your design that it will take shape it will get more detailed it will have more uh, refined when uh, you will you are going to give it some time so always give time to your design and i'm going to show you how actually it can improve and uh, how my designs look awful when I started them and what was the end result. You will be amazed at how it is possible, how I started with this uh, ugly or you can say out of balance design and when I end, uh, finished it up, it was totally different. So I'm going to share with you the last project I did. I can show you last two projects, but I think it will be a very long video. So this is Back Texas Help uh, project and this is my first try so you can see after finishing my typography and selecting few colors i started with this design okay so this was very open and doesn't have some you can say powerful or bold personality and uh, for me it was uh, it was just okay design it doesn't it, it was it was not very you can say unique design or uh, it, it doesn't show a lot of value or you can say professionalism for this page. Very simple, uh, not so unique design or not very powerful. There was no uh, call to action button shown over here. It was over here, which was not very dark too. It was a light and it was uh, uh, same color as this background over here. So um, I kept on improving and uh, this is actually the end result. So I'm going to show you end result this is the end result now you can see this is a totally different direction this is a totally different design for what we started uh, I started in the first place 
So you can see now if you look at this design, oops. Now if you look at this design, you can see, let's zoom out and you can see it is totally a different design. It has uh, a, a personality to it. It has uh, great colors. It is balanced. It is everything that the first initial attempt was not. So keep on improving on your designs. Keep uh, giving time to it. I can also show you the in between different phases. Let me show you that too. How I reached to this design and uh, what are the different stages. This was the first one. Let me show you the second one. Now in this file you can see this is the whole story of this design. This is how I started over here. This is the first try on the left. Then I uh, started uh, moving this over here at the top. And you can see here we have some um, um, shorty uh, icons over here. And I tried to balance this out uh, and started building other sections over here. But still I was not, you know, uh, happy with the header over here. So then I moved to this one. This is another one, a bit stronger background and the same thing, um, a bit stronger, but uh, we had a form over here. So this is the actual idea of my client and uh, showing this very bold over here. And it has very dull bluish, uh, purplish, sorry, greenish background, bluish green. And it was not looking very unique or powerful. Then I got some feedback from my client, which is adding more perspectives to this one. And I uh, ended up having more space over here. Then I again tried another color, which was blue. Still, the client said, no, no, I want something else. Why don't you try to use a purple, uh, sorry, uh, orange color? Because they had seen it in, uh, in their competitor's website. So rather than using orange, I selected this theme, which was uh, green and yellow or amber color and uh, yellowish uh, green uh, yellowish um, what you call it yellowish orange color so I really love this color so this is how my design progressed uh, in in a lot of different stages you can see how many artboards I have worked on uh, you can also see some of the variations over here in these sections uh, you can see this one was um, black and then I moved it over here which was pur purplish blue and also you can see uh, in the start I tried to copy the same design which I showed you from designer fund you can see the same technique but uh, in the end I settled on this one because this one look was looking more professional so you can see there are many iterations I did for this design one two three four five six seven on the seventh last iteration, it improved a lot with time and my effort and the feedback from the client. So that is all about uh, improving your design with time. You have to give your time. Design is progressive. It will take some time. It is going to develop in stages. It will need more than one mind to have a great, uh, to build a great design. I hope you will get a lot of value from this video or this lesson. If you have any questions to ask me, let's move on to the next lesson.